probably Donald Trump, I would say, because he uh, sends money to support troops and he sen- uh, he's sending money to help. I think Trump, I think Trump has a better understanding of foreign policy and foreign issues. Uh, I believe Donald Trump is better uh, for the simple fact that he knows what he's talking about. We don't have to agree with all his policies, but as far as building the economy back up and um, taking care of the immigrant problem, he's going to be the best person for the job. Uh, I say Trump just off the fact that he put a lot of money back into the community and the nation. A lot of people was down bad and he put bread back into their pockets. So that's probably the only reason why I like Trump because he's a businessman. He's based on business. So that's about it. Uh, I think Harris is better for Ukraine. I think Trump is kind of fond of Vladimir Putin and will probably try to give him the most concessions possible. I think that Donald Trump would be better for uh, for Ukraine because he would be far less likely to be pushed around by the Russian state. I would think Kamala would be better because <laughs> she's more of a humanitarian. I feel like uh, the other one, he's a little racist, so I don't, I don't know what he, I don't know if he would really use his resources to help, I'm not sure. I would say Harris for a couple of reasons. And I would preface this with saying that I think neither the Republican nor the Democratic Party have a a great history in terms of their international policy. Trump has pursued a reapproximation with Russia. He has diminished the threat that Putin poses poses to other countries. And I don't expect that to change if he has a second term. Uh, In that sense, I think Harris is going to be a much better fit for this particular conflict. I think Harris would be better for Ukraine. Uh, and I think that um, Trump uh, has a much closer relationship to corrupt regimes, including um, with Putin. I think that um, Harris is more committed to democratic uh, governance um, and to um, essentially supporting um, Ukraine, um, especially given the geopolitical situation of Russian expansionism and war. Maybe Harris would be a more staunch supporter of Ukraine and stand up a little bit more to Putin than Trump would be. I mean, Trump's foreign policy, I I think, was more isolationist um, during his presidency. My answer would be uh, candidate Harris. I think that her administration has history dealing with um, the situation that's going on overseas in Ukraine. I think there are some suspicious ties with President Trump back to um, the Russian President Putin, and that uh, obviously wouldn't bode well for Ukraine either. I would probably say Harris is better for Ukraine. Uh, I think Trump has real sympathies for Russia's leader. Kamala Harris would be much better. I believe that Trump uh, has a love affair with uh, Vladimir Putin and uh, he would do anything he can to make Putin happy. And um, Kamala Harris is a real human being that has empathy and uh, I believe really cares about the people of Ukraine. All right, Trump. Yeah, he is our best bet. He is honest. He doesn't lie. He never made a penny working for the government. Oh, he will end this war. He will end. I really trust him. I really do. He is probably one of the most brilliant people I've ever seen. I've been waiting all my life for a president like him, and he finally came before I died. Personally, I'm I'm a Democrat, so I believe that uh, Kamala should win. Um, I'm not a Trump supporter. I think he's been dirty since he's... Uh, since he's been around, I, you know, hope and pray that we, Trump is not elected again. I think in my heart that uh, Trump would be better for uh, ending the war in Ukraine because of his negotiation powers and his ability to speak with other people. I think that um, he does not want the killing and he, it's not that he doesn't want to support Ukraine, he does. Kamala Harris will help Ukraine the most. She will carry forth the policies of of President Biden and continue those policies of helping Ukraine. I'm not not turning our back on Ukraine. Trump has already made it clear that he 
that he will not help Ukraine. He's made, he's actually stated that this war has to end and that Ukraine has to give up some territory in order for this war to end. So you can see that he is nothing but Putin's friend. Um, I believe Kamala is a more likely um, possibility to make some change in, in the future and talk peace rather than conflict. I think Kamala Harris will be a better president as far as Ukraine is concerned. I feel that the Democratic Party um, is more responsive to Ukraine and with helping Ukraine, I feel the Republicans seem to be pulling away and not wanting to offer support. Okay, so it looks like the two candidates that are running for presidency in the United States, there's one that clearly is going to support aid for Ukraine. You agree? Yes, I agree with um, with my husband that and of that the two, um, Harris seems to support aid for Ukraine, whereas it feels like Trump is much more interested in what Putin says than anybody else. And I, I think he and his running mate, J.D. Vance, is very opposed to aid for Ukraine. Kamala Harris, absolutely. Well, first of all, Donald Trump has publicly made it clear that he is a friend of Putin's in um, a way that Kamala Harris, you know, has very much made it clear that she is supporting Ukraine and wants to provide aid. Um, historically, the last two, three years, the Democrats have been the ones to try to get aid packages through Congress, whereas the Republicans have been the ones to refuse them. Going by the trends of the parties, I think Kamala Harris is the safe bet. Kamala Harris, for sure. <laughs> it's such a loaded answer, but she actually knows um, things about world politics. She's a natural politician. She's not in Putin's back pocket trying to fund a war that is killing Ukrainian people for no reason. So, yeah. Kamala Harris. I don't think Donald Trump is competent enough to make good decisions one way or another. I also think he's in the pocket of Putin. Kamala Harris? Because she believes in diplomacy, she believes in civil rights and human rights, and I don't think Donald Trump believes in any of those things. He believes in himself and not much more. Kamala Harris, 100%. Donald Trump is, is in Russia's pocket and Kamala Harris is really wants to have a free Ukraine and get it away from Russia's oppressive regime. Probably Kamala Harris. No, I'm not sure Trump's that invested in uh, overseas stuff. Yeah, I, don't think, I think he'd be less supportive.